Looks like my goal of clearing the yard with all of these projects is working well. Um, I have uh, my next one will be this TJ right here, nine uh, 2004. Um, it has transmission issues like many of them, but I'll fix that. Um, and then after that will be that 2005 CJ7 with an LS 5.3. And I cannot wait to get to all my Broncos because that's really what I want to get to this year. I'll have a 97 Dyna back there too. And I want to get to, we'll see. But check this out guys, you know, I love planning. I love uh, trying to get be self-sustained uh, a little bit harder than I thought it would be. But check this out, my recent, my plants. Anyways, I'm gonna show you this. This is a Japanese cucumber and it's flowered and fruit. Uh, and then my potatoes right there. Hello there, this is Chris and welcome to Stylish Grease Monkey. I know it's been a couple of months since I've uploaded a video on my channel. Um, no excuses, I just wanted to take a break because I wasn't feeling healthy and now I feel so much better. Uh, in the meantime though, my projects continue and if you look at back there, I'm going to start this Bronco, half of a Bronco and see what happens. So after two months of not posting a video, I would like to start with the starting of this project. I'm gonna put um, I'm gonna put together one bronco out of two broncos that are sitting around here in my backyard. I'm gonna try to go over what I've done and what I'm doing with them. But this one right here has the running engine, believe it or not, and running transmission. Uh, but you can see. The previous owner started to cut off half of the body. Um, what I'm going to use this for is the engine and the transmission. The engine is a 351 Windsor from an older Mustang uh, and it's attached to a C4 automatic with a Dana 20 transfer case. Um, I really love doing things like this and I think it calms me down. So I would like to share that with you. I would like to share with you the adventure of this Bronco and how it's going to form up. Not to stray away from the nature of this channel, which is heritage clothing, but I think this has a lot to do with it. So please enjoy. For those of you that care about the mileage, it says in there 455593. So I'm not sure if that's accurate, if it's 455,000 miles or 145,559 miles. Mm -hmm. Regardless, it's not the original engine anyways, but I will be using this whole dash right here and trying to revive the wiring or rewire the car, but it runs. Put some starting fluid on it and then see what happens. But we're gonna end up rebuilding this motor. So I guess it doesn't matter.
Started, but it's been sitting for a while so it looks like the gasket on the filter here broke so it's leaking fuel over the place um, it start uh, this thing ran when we parked it so there's no surprise that it'll start back up but I'm gonna do a couple of checks like compression checks to see if the compression checks out um, but at the minimum I will probably take apart the motor to um, re-gasket you know what I mean maybe change the intake and re-gasket it to make sure everything is good if compression is good if the compression is bad though what I would do is probably re rebuild the motor transmission definitely rebuild it because I don't want to go back in there once it's put together. There you go guys, I think uh, I'm going to go ahead and start with this video by, of course, I have moved it already. Uh, and the next plan is that I will take it apart, um, get rid of the things I don't need, and then keep the things I need until I'm finished with the project. Um, like I said, the engine, the transmission, transfer case, I will reuse, I'll rebuild them, uh, make sure they run, it runs good. 
uh, and then put it on the other frame. Uh, this frame right here is a little bit rusty so I'm thinking of getting rid of that frame and then using the frame of that Bronco right there under the covers. Um, but if you follow this adventure of building this then you get to see what I, what I, what I can do with the classic Broncos. Of course you already know about my 1974 Bronco right there. I made a video of that already. That one has the high output 302 and it has the a supercharger as well. Now recently I've had to take it apart because I blew the head gasket on it. Uh, the last time I changed the head gasket was like maybe 10 years ago and I was being really hard on it trying to take it to its limits so finally one day it overheated and the white smoke was coming out of the right side of the engine uh, so I did a little bit of a compression test. Uh, I already knew as soon as I took the you know, spark plugs off the heads, it was wet. So I knew water was leaking in there. And sure enough, uh, what, what had happened is that the Felpro gasket that I put in there 10 years ago had deteriorated uh, and then created passage for some of the water to get into the, the heads. And luckily I didn't get any uh, hydro lock or anything like that. Uh, so it was a it was a you know a, a day project of taking apart everything, changing the head gasket, and then test driving, and she runs good again. Uh, my last project was this TJ right here. Uh, it was parked back there for a little while. You probably seen it, but that one is good to go. I had to rebuild the transmission as well as all the you know the driving components in it. Change. Uh, gaskets and the driving components uh, and then of course lift it paint all the good stuff so it runs really good anyways again thank you for hanging around i hope you like this video for this week on an update on these bronco projects i'll follow it up really quickly with a uh, talking about some of the boots and salvage jeans that i have again just to continue i think i'm, I'm finding some inspiration again on, on riding and inspiration on wearing these things and, and then I'm traveling here soon as well so I'm going to talk about my experiences on my travel but thank you for your support that's all I have for you this week Aloha real quick though before I let you go I don't know if you remember this uh, this is a 2009 Rubicon project uh, I got it all up and running now Lots of new upgrades, LED lights, front and rear bumper. I'm waiting for the winch to come. Uh, I have fixed the disconnect on this thing. Um, also, re semi rebuilt the motor. It's a 3.8 with a 42 RLE. But what can you say? It's a Rubicon. It already has Dana 44 front, Dana 44 rear. It's riding on 35s for now.